you've got them eating out of your hands, Serpentor. Of course, you and I know your primary function will be as a figurehead, a sterling symbol of the power and unanimity of Cobra. You will give them someone to look up to while I make all the important decisions. Then start by deciding where you want to be buried. Don't be so aggressive. Hey, kids. Welcome back. David from Atomic Candy and... Hey. The amazing Miss Lady Pop Hunter. And we have got a sideshow unboxing. Yay. You know, we show, we show Sideshow a lot impressed with their items and also with their franchising because they work with Prime One Studios and a lot of other companies. And we have two huge boxes, but this is one item. One yeah. figure. So that is big because the base, I'm sure, Just is show one. Here. Look at that. 34 30, and a half. 35, yeah, almost 35 and 30. by 30 by 15 inches wow. on that box. And then this one is uh, 27 and a half, about 17 depth, and then 30 inches high. Wow. So That's those a big are big box. boxes. Yeah. And we are going to crack these open and show you what is inside and do a review. And I'm gonna open these up from the bottom. Okay. So that I can slide the box up and over and the amazing Miss Lady Papa will be on the camera, I guess. Okay. Just in case she needs to adjust the position. And we'll take this up to a table. Once we get it. Yeah and put it together, show you what, what it looks like, do a review. And you can see how they do that there. There's a foam, because they encase the whole thing. Yeah. Because you, you can see, you know, UPS and the post office, this came through the post office, but it also gets delivered from UPS yeah. as well. You can see they're not very nice to these. There's holes punched in it, there's crushed edges, crushed corners. Fragile doesn't mean much no, to uh, not the post office. Yeah, or UPS. UPS yeah. is really bad. I know I used to work there. <laughs> <laughs> but um, we're going to flip this over and see what this looks like. They're heavy cases. Yeah. Well, holy... Oh, you said a bad word on the TV. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I just... It's a surprise for David. Yes. I didn't tell him that I was getting it for him, so I let him believe it was one of my figures. I kept it a surprise for months. Wow. Isn't that awesome? That's <laughs> it. I don't know what to say. I really don't. I am knocked out. Good. I'm a big G.I. Joe fan. This is a very cool piece, the Climb One Studios Serpentor. Wow. I'm glad you like it because if you didn't, it would be a real problem. <laughs> oh right now. no. This <laughs> is because it's our anniversary. You know, we had mentioned previously, actually, our anniversary just passed. Well, I. And this is, you know, you can't help that. This, yeah. is, this is like a few days late here because that's just how shipping is. Yeah, and I remember when he showed it, the expression, he was just gawking and he started drooling and I did tearing not up and everything. <laughs> oh, and wow. um, I was like, you know, it's been a rough year, two years, going on two years. It's been kind of tough with the move and everything. So I wanted to do something nice um, and surprising with uh, a statue, his first ever Prime One, Prime studio, one studio statue, and um, I'm glad it's something that he likes. So. Oh, absolutely, this is incredible. I wasn't mm -hmm. expecting uh, something like this. No, I really wasn't. He was expecting some Funko Pops, or uh, no. maybe a Brave Star figure. Brave Star? Well, oh, I'd rather have Brave Star than Funko. But... Oh, I thought you were saying that you'd rather have Brave Star than the Pentor because we were about oh, to have a problem. <laughs> no, there is no problems here. I am thrilled. That is incredible. Yeah. And those are huge boxes. Yes, they are. Good Lord. Well, I, I, I don't know what to say. I'm speechless. 
For the first time ever in his life. Oh my God, you have to put it like that, huh? <laughs> but... My goodness, look at that. Where do you even begin? Yeah, well, at the beginning. <laughs> I guess the smaller box is the base. I suppose so. It might be him because he is on that little vehicle or that big vehicle. Who yeah. knows? Well, we'll see. This is going to take some work. We are going That's a pretty box. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> I want the box. That is a pretty nice box. Let's get some shots of the box. So here we go, get the plastic off. And it's the same image on the front of both of these. You see, this one's just shorter, but it's the same, same image. And it's really just a dynamic photograph of the statue itself. And when you turn it around, just says Serpentor, Prime One Studios, Premium Masterline statue. Yeah. Then the top just has his name on it and the Cobra symbol. Alright. And we're going to go ahead and open these up and detail all the pieces and then put it together. Okay. Now. Yeah, let's see about getting these open. And they're not tape sealed on here. Usually they wouldn't be, but they will be on the foam insert, which will be this gigantic foam insert here. Is that a picture of him? No, there's a sticker on here and it's got a oh. picture. It's got a picture of the cape. That's something that they added, oh, I guess. Okay. So do it, turn it, tip it one more time. I missed it. Okay. Let's see, it's like a yeah. picture of his I cape. I wonder if the cape is in there. Maybe just a we'll see. Okay. Safer to kind of split this. Try not to damage the box because I want to keep the box intact. And I think it's kind of important to keep all the packing material because if you ever have to move this, mm -hmm. you're better off taking it apart and repacking it. You know, give it a little air. A lot of people have trouble getting these out, but open up that bottom flap to give it some air and it releases the vacuum. Because I've seen people in other videos really struggle with these. But you see how that is? Just get your fingers under it so the air can flow. And slide right out. And... Tape all the way yeah, around. Tape all the way around. I'm not sure which way is up or down. It doesn't say this side up. Nope. Well, the cape is on the other side. Top. Top. Okay. That's helpful. Yes. It, it is marked top on one of the foam inserts. So I'm going to go ahead and trace this out carefully. I don't want to penetrate it too deeply. But usually there's a lip inside here. And I'm going to guess that this is the base. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know. very tightly fitting. Actually, this foam is very, very close together. The knife almost doesn't want to go in there. I'm still being careful. You, know, you don't want to penetrate it too deeply. Yeah, but the way they pack it, because they know between go. the UPS and the post office, yeah. it's going to get damaged. If you saw that outer box, that outer, outer box was damaged. Whoa. But nothing inside is damaged. Okay, got a little. Yeah, some fabric. Ooh, it's fabric. It's not even paper. Yeah, this is the base. Fabric. There's a lot of silicone gel packets all over the inside of this. They're in all these pockets. Throw it away. Don't eat it. I don't recommend throwing it away. Keep it with your packing material in case you ever have to repack this. So what have we got here? So we got his head. Look at this. Wow. Look at that face. That's a very intense look on yes. Serpentor, which he always did. He was always screaming on the show. Wow, look at the detail on that hood.
no, Justice Curry, it does not look like you. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I think it looks like me. There is an action figure that looks like him, Star Wars figure, that he was showing on his video not too long ago. And? The premium head, the double head. Yeah. And you know what, folks? If you're going to pay a lot for a statue, you may as well go ahead and go with the premium one. Because yeah. I know a lot of people, because usually it's only a small difference, like maybe yeah, 50, bucks. $50 or something. And aftermarket, that's usually the more desirable one. Besides, it gives you more options. Yeah, I like that. Well, both heads yeah. look pretty good to me. But that is a very It looks like they look. missed it right there. You see how like the teeth are kind of yellow? Mm -hmm. And this one is yellow, but this one it's more of a flesh tone. So I think they went off a little bit on that, but that's not that big of a deal. No. I know you can fuss to Sideshow if you call up Sideshow and say, hey, you get a paint smudge. They'll, they'll throw you 20 bucks or something, but it's not really worth the argument. No. I don't think so. but. And I mentioned that about aftermarket just because that's the way the world is, but I'm not selling this. Good Did Lord. You not? I will never sell this. This is amazing. One of his hands. Nice coloring. Yeah, it is nice coloring. It's almost like a metallic sort of paint. You see the sparkling in there? I don't know how well that's coming out. Yeah. And then uh, get the, the thumb, index, and middle finger have like a, a a touch pad in it, not these two, but these three do. Yeah, I see. Kind of like um, tactical gloves that have that um, texture on it so mm -hmm. that you can still touch your cell phone or whatever. There's another hand on this side. His left hand, fairly identical to the right one. Really good detail well painted very well painted mm -hmm. I know that's one of the biggest complaints from a lot of people out there they don't like how the coloring is coming out but I think the contrast on this color is pretty nice what's in here okay pieces at a base yeah there? it's a it's a panel it's probably one of the fins on his uh, glider that he rides going to be the other panel then. Usually these will come with a, with like a guide that will tell you, I haven't seen it yet, but I'm sure it's in here somewhere, a guide that tells you where everything goes back in the box. And that's a really good thing to have in case you ever have to repack it. You don't have to overthink everything too much. A little bit of a painting defect oh, yeah. in the corner right, right there. there but that's going to be on the inside anyways because mm -hmm. that flap is going to be exterior so I'm not too worried about that see how it has a crown okay. over the cobra yeah <laughs> I love that these are wrapped in fabric too yeah and we have here very careful yes it's a cannon Mm -hmm. Look at this. Yeah. Folks, I am like having a hard time right now because I'm just really <laughs> overwhelmed by by this by this gift. That's amazing. I don't know what to say. Really nice detailing and good weight to all of this too. These are all pretty heavy. Mm. This is uh, oh, his body. Yeah, this is his torso. Good lord! Mm, you picking that up like it weighs something? It does, and I don't want to harm it. There's a foot peg for the yeah. stand. Mm -hmm. And of course, you know, it's magnetic inserts. See how they put some foam underneath yeah, so the it back will. here so that that doesn't look at that detail. Yeah. 
I don't know how well you can see here. If you want to, I'll just hold that with one hand there. Okay. You can. His armored skirt. Okay. Yeah, that's uh, really impressive. Because he wore head to toe body armor. On his legs, this looked like a panel door that opens. I know it doesn't, but yeah. it just looked like. Well, pro yeah, where the it, armor would snap together. Mm -hmm. That's some good detail. Let me see if I can get that in the camera shot real good. Just so y'all can see what we're talking about. Yeah, um, right his here. legs, you have the hinges. It doesn't open, but you can tell. That's where it should open, if it was to open. So I thought that was some good detail. But that is that is very heavy. I'm almost tempted to weigh it. It feels like it's about a good 20 pounds, just this really? piece. Oh, it's, wow. It's solid. Yeah, that's not hollow. No, it's you not mean, hollow. You don't pay for hollow. Some statues are hollow. Yeah. And you know, this is not one of them. No. This thing is very heavy. And so all I have to be <clears> careful <throat> with it. Mm -hmm. Set it and then this would be the stand, the stand, the base. Yeah, and, uh, pull this up. Okay, oh, it's not even the base. Oh, no, look at the bottom. Oh, that goes on the base. Yeah, this That's inserts the stand on. into the base. Jesus, mm -hmm. just some threads. Yeah, just you know. Mm -hmm. And then I'll just bring that out so you can take a look over it. Okay. Pan. I mean the detail, even where the gun reactor is. It says gun reactor. It has the model number. On that no step, you see that on military yeah, which vehicles. Is, yeah, and I that's mean that's something, detail. That's something that GI Joe is very good about with their toys too. Mm -hmm. Is that they had those uh, stickers that you could put on it. Yeah. These are painted on though. These are not stickers. Yeah. But yeah, you see that on real military vehicles, and you s see that on traditional GI Joe vehicles mm -hmm. as well. And here's the back. Mm. That's everything that's in, in this box. Box number one. Box number one. Box eight. Yes. And we'll go ahead and turn over box number two here. Then we'll lay the pieces out and give it a final go over. Here we go. Here you go, the diagram. Oh, it's an know. explosion. Yeah, there's an explosion. It is a clear. Okay. Mm hmm And oh, he does have a cape. Yep. Picture of all the parts. And where they go in the box, like we talked about earlier, and how it's going to look when he's done. And this looks like it's going to be a lot of work. Yeah. <laughs> There's it's a, a lot, lot going on. There's a lot here. Shows you everything that should be in the packaging mm -hmm. in case anything is missing. And you know, um, I do recommend going when you do an unboxing like this, even if you're not going to put it on a channel or something, just in case anything is missing or broken, which is rare yeah. with these. As you can see, even though the boxes took a lot of hits. The cases are still in pretty decent condition, mm -hmm. so they, they do do a good job with the packaging. And there it goes. And that's for anything you buy? Yeah. Um, because I've had some things that came in, they were damaged or they had uh, parts missing, but I recorded it and then I contacted the uh, seller and I told him, hey, I got it on video. 
for my channel, do you need me to send you the video? And a lot of times they say no, but I had a couple of times where they say yes. And I showed it from before I even broke the seal on the box. Just to show, hey, this is untampered with. Yeah, because we film our unboxings. Yeah, everyone. For, for the channel. Mm -hmm. But, you know, we also, um, it also helps the battle box seen some of our unboxing videos, there have been plenty of times yeah. where boxes were crushed, stuff was damaged, stuff wasn't the way it was described. Yeah, or you know, stuff was missing, missing, like I said. Yeah, um, something wasn't in there. Mm -hmm. but, and they can see, okay, yeah, this person didn't just say they got it in video form. Yeah, and because also a lot of times people scam sellers, yeah. there's a well-known, I'm not going to say who it is, but a well-known YouTuber who does statue unboxings, mm -hmm. who tried to pull a scam on Sideshow not too long ago that way. Yeah. And uh, he, he cut, frame, edited his video and showed the video and they caught it and was like, yeah, you know what, we can see we did that. You're not missing anything, buddy. Yeah. And, and, and it's real nasty to do something like that. Uh, let me get zoomed up here on before you before you move anything. Put that back. <laughs> I just want to show how it looks in the box. Okay. Let's see. Okay, now I'm ready. So that's the emblem. I think this does this go on the back of his head? <laughs> it goes or, on the base. Oh, okay, I see, I see. Yeah, you're right. Mm -hmm. On the actual base base. <laughs> Some explosion. Uh-huh. And this feels like it's made out of uh, a hard vinyl. Mm. It's not um, polystone or anything like that. I like how each piece is individually wrapped. Yeah. Oh, look at this a, a bolt flying out in the explosion. <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> great, great detail. That's an interesting little detail mm -hmm. there. Explosions. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know. It's like another explosion packed in there. A snake. Yeah. He always had snakes. Good detail on it though. Yeah, you can, the, you can see the see the belly and, and the scales. The eyes and his tongue. Mm -hmm. And all the scales are really well painted and well done. The eyes. Yeah. Are well painted. His teeth are painted. Fangs are painted. Yeah. It's nice. There should be a second one. There we go. Right there. Second snake. This one's got the mouth open. Hmm. That's nice. Like in a striking pose. Mm -hmm. More explosion. Yep, another one. Okay. That's the, oh, that's the snake head <clears throat> that goes on the vehicle. Yeah, with the cannon in the mouth. Oh yeah, hold on. Get that. See the cannon? <laughs> Good detail. Yeah, what do you see the back? Oh, it's a control panel. Yep. Is that no, that looks like it should open yeah. up, but it does not. But that's his control panel there with a little readout of the battlefield and some targets selected there. Mm -hmm. 
And that is the base. Yeah. With little bits of fragments. <laughs> and I'm going to get this up out of here. And this, okay, again, baby. Is very heavy. It feels like uh, it feels like a polystone base with um, this feels like um, like a hard vinyl or something on the top. This is obviously hollow, the explosion, mm -hmm. but the base is not. And we're going to flip this 63. over. 63 of 350 pieces. Wow. That is limited. And of course, you know, there's more of the standard one, but this is the one that came with the two heads. Yeah. And that's the difference. And so there was only 350 of those made. Get this up here. And you can see in the explosion, there's all sorts of metal bits flying about. It's like a spatula. <laughs> <laughs> Those are nice. Yeah. Those are very it's a nice, detail. nice details. Like he just flew over some vehicle and blew it up yeah. as he's flying and there's bits and pieces of it shooting out all over the place. Mm -hmm. Now what I have not seen yet is the cape. Is yeah. the cape somewhere else? Well, they had the picture on this box Pull that all the way up. Pull that all the way up. No? No. Uh, maybe it's in there. We just missed Removal it. Removal instructions. We're oh, gonna Jesus. Find it. Yeah, it's okay. I got it. I'm just looking. I see. Mm -hmm. It's on the back of this one. There is a foam panel mm -hmm. on the back side of this one. Okay. So. We got to take everything out and then get that out last. Yeah. And then we'll picture cutting that. What we're going to do is lay the pieces out, mm -hmm. get the Lazy Susan, mm -hmm. set it up, and put this together. Okay. Yes, Shapento, right away. What a spoiled brat I have created. All right, so we get everything out of this one. I can lift this over now and show there's like a door on the back of this. Mm -hmm. See? So I'm going to go ahead and it's I'm going to... a big gonna, door. Yeah, I'm going to cut this out. And the cape should be in here. And I'm just going to cut three sides so that I can hinge it open. Get enough tape on it. I'm going to make sure it doesn't go anywhere. And there goes the tape. There's the tape. Wrapped in like wax paper. Hold on. It's heavy, actually. Yeah. And it's made out of some kind of a... Vinyl. Yeah, some kind of a, like a faux leather, actually. And it's got oh, all yeah. these wires and I did notice. So you can drape it. I've seen it on yeah. the pictures. It's like flowy. There's a bunch of um, holes in the back of his neck and mm -hmm. I guess these all insert in there. Yeah. So that's nice. Okay, so we got everything laid out. Show everybody what we got. All the pieces laid out and then we will put it together for you and we'll see how that looks. Okay. And it appears we do have everything that was pictured on the box. I'm going to start with the more obvious things. One thing, it does not have the instructions. It doesn't look like there's instructions for assembly unless it's, no, not, oh, there are instructions for assembly. Mm -hmm. I was wrong. So there's your layout. So you can put it all back if you have to. And then there 
are your assembly instructions. So see the cape looks a little complicated there. Yeah. So <laughs> look like that's gonna take some work. Possibly. Possibly. Don't, let's start from the bottom and work yeah, our way up. Let's start follow their guidelines yeah. for how to do this. And we'll go ahead and get started. We'll start off right with the emblem right here. And it actually just kind of sucked right in there. You saw that. Pulled it right away from me because it uses magnets. Second, ex first explosion rather, is the one with the bolt. And if I can figure out where that's supposed to even go. <laughs> they, Probably right there in on top of the, the thing. Well, they all look the same. No, all of them. not there. Right, right there. This one? Mm, I think. Yeah, see? Yeah, it does it's fit right there. In. Second, one of the small explosions, I think it's this one. This one looks like it goes right here. Yes. Turn it around. And it helps also if you've got one of these lazy Susans, believe me. This makes, uh, this makes a big difference. Not that one. Perhaps this one. Yes. There. And one more, which probably goes underneath. Right there. And there's all your explosions. Okay. How easy was that? That that was easy. Yes, it was. Next <laughs> is Next you got the bottom of the yes, glider. The glider is next. And that is going to insert right here. And also you notice on the top of this, I'll turn it back here real quick. They've got like a felt sticker that's been attached on top of here mm -hmm. so that the two different segments they don't rub on each other. I think that was a good idea. Is that the right way? How does it look in the picture? Well, yeah, that has to be the right way because the emblem is facing us and that back has to be back. Well, I don't know. I'm looking at the cutout mm -hmm. and... Oh, there you go. It goes like that. Okay. So why is the Cobra emblem on the back side of the piece? Unless that's a mistake. No. That side is in the picture. Let me see. See? Because that's not the back. That's the front. Oh! You know what? Yeah. I ought to know better. Because, God, I've seen every episode of G.I. Joe like a hundred times. <laughs> Next would be the torso. Which is going to insert in here. And there's two foot pegs. I'm going to turn this back around so you can see where those pegs are. Getting out of the, out of frame. The control segment. I'm trying to feel that uh, peg. It's on there. It just doesn't want to slide down. Well, that snapped in the place. Yeah. It was the paint on the peg, because mm -hmm. that's what I was wiping off. The uh, fitting is so tight, the paint was uh, shredding around that peg. Okay. The cannons, which are going to go on the back of here. And there is a left and a right cannon. 
because if you see this three prongs, mm -hmm. so the prong corresponds to where it's missing the prong it goes next to his foot, like that. Okay. We're moving right along here. Mm. The two panels, which which way are they face? I think here? they go here. Yeah, I was just more to make sure they're facing the right way. I think they face with uh, the lights going forward. That's a yeah. fairly decent fit there. Hold on a minute, let me get, let me show that. Okay. This is cruising right along here, actually. Yeah, it's not as bad as you thought. Well, you know what it is? I think a lot of these, uh, a lot of these channels, they make it look bad. <laughs> and the reason is because they just kind of throw the instruction sheet away. They're like, ah, and they put it aside. Mm -hmm. And you can figure it out without the instruction sheet, obviously, but... It's, um, I think it just goes a lot easier if you follow the instructions. And I think this snake is supposed to, the snake with the tongue out goes on his right. So it fits under the arm here. And there it is, right in there. And then this one will go on the left side. Turn that again so that you can see where that fits. And interestingly, the, the picture has the tail going into the snake's mouth. Mm -hmm. But this one, see here in the, in the photo. Oh, yeah. But mine doesn't, but I don't care. No, it's, not <laughs> it's fine like that. It's mm -hmm. fine like that. Now, this is, this is where it's going to get a little weird. You don't want to put the hands on first? Well, it, it, the instructions say to put the cape on first. Oh, okay. So I'm just going to keep following along with the instructions. And all of these have these little caps on the ends of the cables. And I guess that's just to keep those wires from possibly scratching the fabric. Mm -hmm. And watch out for these because I can feel these wires will slide right out. Because I just pulled one up and put it back in. Some of these don't want to come off too easy either. There we go. And the green goes on the outside. Ooh, okay, are those two wires supposed to be sticking out like that? Yes. Okay. There's a, there's a, it, it's in the picture. Okay. They're, they insert in different places. Okay. So these go into the holes in the back of his neck. Attend me. I need suitable raiment. So it shall be, O oh great and powerful one. Here is your uniform and your air chariot. First. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm them. seeing a hole. I'm seeing a hole. Yeah. Let me zoom in. Right up on here, there's a series of holes on the back of his neck. And then two in his shoulders, which is where these other ones go, I guess. Okay. And this is, uh... Seems like it would have been almost easier to do this before you put the torso on, actually. Mm -hmm. I can't really see what I'm doing. Just kind of feeling my way through it because the cape's very much in the way. And they go way in there, though. That's good. Those holes drill deep. Mm -hmm. What about those two loose ones? Where do they go? Yeah, I'm going to figure that out here in a second. Now there's two... So the flaps wrap around the front. And then there's two shoulder holes. So this kind of just... There's a hole in the shoulder, let me see. Right here. And then that bends down. Another hole in the opposite shoulder. 
right here. I don't know if you can see it. It's a little awkward. There it is. And then this bends down. Okay. And I think that the other two wires. Let me see here. Because I saw. I don't know if they're supposed to go in here. It doesn't look like it'll fit. I don't know why those two are hanging out. I think they keep it flowy. Probably. So he kind of twists those under his arms. Which brings us to the head. Got a choice of two. And I'm going to go with Angry Serpentor. Because Serpentor was always in a bad mood. And the arms. One arm facing down. There we go. And you know what, folks? That's all she wrote. That is it. I have been created fully sentient, all-knowing, and all-powerful! With all due respect, O oh, mighty Serpentor, we, we beg, beg you, you to reconsider. So what's the measurements on it? Yeah, the hold on. Let me see. I got the tape here. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go from the base. And follow it up to the top of his head. And it looks like about... 32 31. Oh, I think it's more 31 and a half, maybe? 30, 31 inches. It's okay. Like a hair over 31 inches high. From wing to wing? Wing to wing. I'd say about 26. Okay. 26 inches wide and then maybe about 14 inches on the bottom of the base. Okay. That is impressive. Yeah, it is. Look at this. And of course, since there's wires in the cape, you know, you can probably open that up a lot more. Yeah, See, make like, it look like he's like, in motion. Like this. Mm -hmm. Open that out. See how that looks from the front when I get it up. Turn this back on. See the effect? Like yeah. he's flying. Yeah, it looks like he's in motion. I wonder how he controlled the glider because he never touched any of the controls. <laughs> <laughs> he had little minions down there. Maybe it's a foot pedal. <laughs> Maybe. But that is just impressive. And we'll go around closer and take a look at some close up details on this as well. Take a look at the other head. I wish, you know, if I had a, a complaint. I would say that when they give you an extra head mm -hmm. like this, I wish that they would give you like a little bust that you could set the head in mm -hmm. to display with it. Or well, just a little stain. Yeah. I mean, I've seen some places, sometimes they do give you one, but I think anytime there's an extra head or heads, mm -hmm. there should be some kind of little stand for it so yeah. that you can display them together. And yeah. I'll go ahead and uh, we'll take a look at the very rare calm Serpentor. <laughs> yeah, I'm not so angry Serpentor, but I'm still frowning. This is a very big piece and it's impressive. It's very well done by Prime One Studios. Who they do a lot of uh, a lot of DC characters. Yeah. And yeah, they do Batman a lot. They do Batman a lot. Those are very these wires could stand to be pushed in just a little more, but I'll deal with that later. Because you can just see them on the top there, but that can be I can work on that. I'm sure those are going a little deeper because it feels like they will.
good work by Prime One Studios. It's well painted and well handled overall by uh, Sideshow. You know, despite the fact that the post office tried to destroy it, <laughs> it because there was holes. You saw the boxes, there's damaged corners and edges and holes punched through it, and it still got through intact because it was well packaged. And this is just a, a gorgeous piece. I really like this. Prime One does good work. And it's kind of at a tilt too. It's not like coming straight at you. It's sort of at a tilt there. Well, why don't we uh, get closer and go around the detail of the statue now that it's all assembled. Okay. Take a take a better look at it. There he is. Just taking a closer look for better detail. Instead of just spinning him around. See how it all blends together. I like the way that the color blends together too. I like the greens in it. I think the green really stands out. Of course, that's Serpentor's costume, but... This is just a really impressive piece. And I'm, I'm absolutely overwhelmed today because I would not have expected anything like this from my wife. We've been married six years. Six years. And I wouldn't change a thing. And I'm not just saying that because of the gift. <laughs> she really is amazing. Look at the teeth. And he has like fangs too. His teeth, you see him there? You know what would have been a cool feature is if there was a light on the inside of the explosion so that it sort of glowed. But this is still really nice. There's that spatula. I guess he blew up the uh, taco truck. Deadpool's going to be very disappointed. This is my first Prime One Studio statue. Really impressed with the uh, detail. Well, what do you think? Do you have this one or any other Prime One Studio statues or statues from any other collection? Any of the manufacturers out there? It's just really impressive. Tell us about it in the comment section down below. Tell us about, uh, about your statues. I'm curious. Check out some of our other videos if you get a chance. You know, we do reviews of other things, action figures, vintage and modern. And we do a lot more than that, too. We do unboxings, we do toy hunts, we do weekly roundups. A lot of different things on this channel. Discussions about the toy industry, you name it, comic books. You may find something that you like. I hope you do.
We're all about the nostalgia here, folks. Please do give the video a thumbs up. I sure would appreciate it. Like and share and subscribe. Share it if you can. Subscribe if you're new. Take a look at some of the other videos. And don't forget to hit that notifications icon so that you can be alerted when new videos come out. So I hope you enjoyed that, sharing that with me. I was really surprised today, I'll tell you what. Thanks for watching, and we hope to see you again soon. Fearing Cobra Commander no longer has the ability to lead, Destro and Dr. Mindbender comb the tombs of the most evil leaders in history, and from their genetic tissues produce a composite clone with the military genius of Napoleon, the ruthlessness of Julius Caesar, the daring of Hannibal, and the cunning of Attila the Hun. Behold the ultimate Cobra Emperor, Serpentor! Serpentor! The most evil one, G.I. Joe! G.I. Joe!